The topic of this video is graphing transformation techniques, horizontal and vertical stretching and shrinking. Okay, so we've now learned about vertical and horizontal stretching and shrinking. Let's put it all together. When we're comparing a before and after, and we're referring to equations when I say that, if the observed change is something multiplying by a positive value, that indicates that the transformation is a stretch or shrink. Now, as before, if the change is inside close to x, that makes the transformation horizontal. If the change is outside far from x, that makes the transformation vertical. And when trying to determine if it is a stretch or a shrink, let's observe the following. If your stretch or shrink is vertical, then it behaves exactly as you would think it would. If the number is bigger than 1, like 2 or 3 or 5 or 10, then it is a stretch. But if the number is between 0 and 1, like 1 half, 1 third, 0 0.3, 0 0.9, 3 fifths, then you're dealing with a shrink. But if your stretch or shrink is horizontal, then it is backwards of what you would expect. Bigger than 1, like 4 or 8 or 100, would be a shrink. And between 0 and 1, like 1 tenth or 1 twentieth or 0 0.05, would be a stretch. We are now ready to solve problems involving horizontal and vertical stretching and shrinking.